if this ends up being a terrible episode, but it'll get. Left it's on probably going to be a terrible. Episode. It's not going to get. We won't post it. So what we could do? You're on a desert island. What three things are we going to take with us? So I'm waking up, I'm having my coffee, and then I'm getting pissed and watching City on the TV. The professional chef is not going to serve up rice cakes, so I'm going to have to bring my own. This is going to be. A we've got we've got a house, right? <laughs> we had an extra 30 minutes to kill in the studio. I wanted to talk about training. We can talk about training. Should we talk about training? For we can minute? talk about training. Yeah. How's your training going? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the organisers went and called my mum and was like, you better come because your son's like hyperventilating on the side of the track. And I think <laughs> they thought something was wrong with me. And I don't think there was. I think I just didn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, was like, yeah. do you know what? I'm built for 100 metre, 200 In the morning, I'll have fish and a rice cake. Welcome back. Another episode. Another episode. I'm Jake. <laughs> I'm Jake. And we're going to try and think of something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, what's he going to say here? You know what we could do? Why don't we do like a game? You know, like... Um... I haven't got the brain capacity. Oh, no. We could do like a Desert Island... Uh... No, no. Come on, mate. No, I'm not... I... Come on. We nah. could do like... what If you're on a Desert Island, what's the... <sighs> I'm trying to... F I'm blanking on like games Like three now. things that you couldn't live without kind of thing. Three things you couldn't live without. We could do that. We could do it. We can make an episode out of that. I mean, well, I'd be in massive trouble if I didn't say two things. Theo and Louise. Yeah. All right. Let's take... <laughs> in well, then you're only trouble. down to one. So uh, let's okay. leave them out of it. Let's just say, right, they're coming. Sophie's coming for me. Below's okay. coming with us. I'm yeah. going to say, obviously, as well. It's Yeah, let's leave them out of it because otherwise... Yeah, okay, right. Right, so they're there. Yeah. They're on the desert island with us. Okay, yeah. so it's three things outside of that. Three things out of that. Look, if this ends up being a terrible episode, but it'll get It's probably going to be a floor. terrible episode. It's not going to get... We won't post it. <laughs> but let's see what we can do. Three <laughs> things. You're on a desert island. What's the three things that you reckon you need to take with... Not to like, not to survive. Let's say not to survive. Yeah. We need to put, context, we need to put context to this. Because otherwise... Yeah. Because if you if it's three things you need to survive, right. it'll be pretty boring, isn't it? All right. Let's do this again. You're on a desert island. Mm -hmm. You've got Louise. You've got Fia. Mm -hmm. We've both got the dog. Everything like that. You've already got hut set up. You've got food sorted. You've got heat. Not heating, but you've got fire. All right. That's all sorted. Fair. You don't need anything like that to survive. The basics You're basically on holiday. Yeah. You're basically on holiday on a <laughs> desert island. This is where we're going. What three things are we going to take with us separately? We've got our own island. We're doing well for ourselves. Okay. So we're basically like Richard Branson. We're basically Richard Branson. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, the three things that I'm taking with me. I'm going to give you one, then you can give me one. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll go back and forth. Hang on a second, though. Do we have... <laughs> so, in, 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 this is gonna be we've, got, we've got a house, right? So, we've got. We've, you said we've got a little setup here. So, do we already have food and things? Yeah, that's all sorted. That's, that's all, all sorted. You've got so. an in-house chef. It's fine. All right, okay. So, we've got a chef. Okay. Um, you don't have to worry about food. You don't have to worry about the plumbing. You don't have to worry about anything. They're everything sorted. It's just three luxury items. Three luxury items. I mean, well, the first one would have just have to be Sky TV, essentially. Sky TV. I cause I well, hang on. Well, what are you watching? City. S so football. Right? Yeah, I'm watching You're football. Watching so if I'm on a desert island and I've got a fucking private chef and I'm living it up, I need to be able to watch City beat United like they did at the weekend. So, yeah. But I, that's the first thing for me. I couldn't live without football. Number one is City. Yeah. Or just football. football. Just football in general. Yeah, but mainly City, obviously, but football. And I want to be able to watch football. Okay. What, like season ticket holder? What's, what are you watching it on? I, anything. As long as I can watch it. Give me, I've got my dodgy fire stick at home. It's got every channel <laughs> on it. Yeah. 40 for a year. So in your dream scenario, you've still got your dodgy fire stick. I've got my dodgy <laughs> Yeah, because it's not a dream scenario, is it? But what's like, well... <sighs> This is just a, what you wouldn't want to live without. No, but yeah, but you've got to watch it on something. So you're watching it on your laptop. Oh yeah, you're TV. It on a tablet, TV. TV. Okay, well, how, how big's a TV? How big is it? Fucking is it like the curved screen ones? It is it a be smart TV? Home cinema. You don't care, do you? No, if I don't you want care. To watch City. Yeah, as long as I can watch it, I don't. I, I couldn't care. All right, cool. It could be a little. It could be like an old school one, and you know, like proper shit ones back in the day. You used to have like, like tiny little TVs in your kitchen. Yeah. Your yeah. mum used to have them. They're like that fucking big at the back, but yeah. they're like a screen about this big. As long as I can watch it, I'm not. I'm not bothered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's number one. Yeah. City. Go on. Give us one. You can tell we've literally just made this up yeah. on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't live without. I'll go for. I'll go for coffee. I think for okay. the first oh, thing. Yeah, I'll go for coffee. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah decent cup of coffee. Although, yeah. Desert Island's gonna be really hot. I know, but you so still can't beat coffee. All right. I'll I'll go for coffee, but I'd like the option of. Hot or cold, so like a cold brew. Well, if or you've a... got a fucking 
private chef. I'm sure he can, you know, he can give you some ice cubes. Yeah. Can, you know, <laughs> make yourself a lot Yeah, I think number one, latte. I think I'll go for coffee just as a nice way to start okay. the day before I walk along the beach. I think I would, that's one of mine. You can go it would, yeah, it would have to be, like, I, I live on coffee like quite a lot. So yeah, coffee, 100%. Okay, straight back to me again. Now. Mm. <laughs> I've not got yeah. any idea. What would you? Would you? Would it be a gym? No, fuck that. Really? Yeah. What's What's the point? You, you're, because you've... you're stuck on an island. What are you going to be? In sh- you, you, you You're going to have to be hunting for your food. No, you've not. You've just told me we've got a private chef. <laughs> yeah, but what's he going to cook with? He needs something to cook with. Oh, this is and he's not, not a hunt. He's not a hunter. He's a chef. This hasn't been thought out. Mate. <laughs> it hasn't. There's no context there at all. <laughs> no, no, you've still got, I reckon, you've still got to hunt for your food. <laughs> All right, no, okay, fine. The, the food's sorted, it's taken care of, you don't need to worry about that, you don't need to hunt for your food. But for some reason, we forgot to bring coffee, so coffee's number yeah. one and coffee's number two for you. Yeah. Number two for me, <laughs> well, if the dog's there and Sophie's there, maybe just a, maybe just a phone just to speak to my family, that I don't need anything else on it. Okay. I don't need social media. I'm not bothered about that. Just some form of communication where I can call my family and chat to my brothers and my mum and dad and grandparents and whatnot. Okay. Maybe that as well, because for some reason I've brought the dog and I've not brought them. They'll probably be a bit annoyed. But yeah. So maybe just a phone to speak speak to them, maybe. I feel like that's a bit of a cop-out answer, maybe, though. Is it's it? a massive cop-out answer. Is it a cop-out answer? Yeah. Because, again, we've just not thought this through, so I just think this is the most ridiculous episode ever. <laughs> um <laughs> Because there's just no context to anything at all. But because I would feel like now I feel bad if I don't say the same thing. <laughs> but um... all right, cool. right, let's get rid of that answer. Then. <laughs> we'll get rid of that answer. Yeah, fair enough. That's let's just say that's accounted for. We've got one of those coconut shell phones that you can okay. put a ring on every night. Yeah, again. okay. Well, if you do, those even work. You know that you used to get like a tin can with string. Yeah. Do they actually? Yeah, it works. I don't know how it works. Does it work? I don't know. Yeah, in my head it worked when I was a kid. Yeah. Or maybe it's just because I could actually hear the other person. I was going to say, because you're never that far yeah, apart. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> yeah. I always wondered whether it actually was a thing. Can't be a thing. Can't like, be. I mean, I know the potential. I mean, sound can't thing. pass through string, can it? Surely not. No, it won't. No, no it definitely doesn't. Yeah, We're it making ourselves sound yeah. stupid here. We've just done an episode on talking about how to spot an expert. <laughs> We're following it up with it. I mean, to be fair, we don't <laughs> claim to be experts when it comes to... If we did, it's pretty fucking evident. <laughs> right, no, okay, number two. See, my answer would probably be some sort of maybe like a PlayStation or something, just to chill I out. See, I thought that, but then I don't play it anymore anyway because I've time. So like... I very rarely go on it now, and if I go on it nine times out of ten, it's to tra- it's almost just to z- zone out and de-stress. mm mm-hmm. And I feel like the last thing I need to do on an you're island gonna be is de-stress because well. you're on an island. Yeah. So I don't even need that. So what do we need? It's, well, again, we don't need anything, do we? This is where it, the insight into our lives shows how boring we are. Yeah. We don't actually have things. That well, you don't, you don't need anything, do you? Because you've got... What? Rice cakes. Uh, and you see, and that, I was going <laughs> to suggest that, but I was waiting for you to say it. Do you it. know what? I'm going to salt and vinegar rice cakes. Right, okay, so, so you're the professional coffee. chef, the professional chef is not going to serve up rice cakes, so I'm going to have to bring my own. Okay, so you're taking coffee, coffee and, and rice cakes. Coffee and rice cakes. I hate my life so much. <laughs> <laughs> I've got city here covered. I've got coffee. See, this is there's a there's a coin toss here between okay. a bar, it's like unlimited beer essentially, yeah, yeah. or a gym. So I know they're complete polar opposites of like health, but they're two things that I, I thoroughly enjoy. Mm. And because, again, I think you hit the nail on the head because one on desert island, they've got no one to impress. Exactly. Um, and you're going to be walking around the beach, you're going to be taking a swim. So I want, yeah, fuck it. Are you hunting for your food? Did we decide on that? We said we're not hunting for food. I can do it pissed. Right, so yeah, I'm going, All right. for, I'm going, <laughs> Billy Biggin. I'm going for the bar. <laughs> Going for the bar. All right, so you've got a bar. So basically, so you basically you've got a you've got a weekend football game. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yeah, yeah, exactly that. So I'm waking up, I'm having my coffee, and then I'm getting pissed and watching City on the TV. Uh, This is just like our dream gym day that turned (laughs) out to be just our average day. Our dream gym day, which for me was getting up at six to train, having some protein oats before I go, and having a coffee. All right, cool. So number three. So you've got football, you've got coffee, and you've got a bar. Yeah. What have I got? I've got coffee. I've got rice cakes. You've got rice cakes. <laughs> I'm already regret this decision. <laughs> I've just done that for the hell of it. And number three, it probably would be some form of way to watch films that are coming okay. out. Yeah. Films or music? No, it'd probably be films. I think yeah. you could just say. I think you can just say TV then, like with unlimited like. <laughs> Give me the illegal fire stick. I'll take the. Illegal yeah, the illegal fire, fire stick. stick. You can so watch can anything watch you want, anytime. You but want. I do want like a proper big screen with like okay. proper surround sound. 
So I don't know how you're going to hook that up on a desert island. You sat there island. watching films, drinking coffee and eating rice cakes on a desert island. Yeah, and that's okay. it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, I, th- I think I'd go with that. But it's funny though, right? Because the thing is, if you, it is the simple things that you'd miss though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like yeah. when we travelled, when we were in South America and stuff, and we were away from like civilization for like periods of time, it was a lot of things like a cup of tea that you missed. Like you, yeah, it yeah. is the big. You think it's gonna be like the big things that you miss, but it's not. It's the really simple things that you miss. Like yeah. I say, a cup of tea for me was massive. I don't really drink tea that much, but because I was away from it, I couldn't have it. I really missed it. Yeah, there's nothing like there's nothing of value. Like I'm not like a watch person yeah, yeah, or anything yeah. like nah, that. Nah, I'm not. Yeah. I don't have any watches I'd want to yeah. take. I'm not precious about clothes. I'm not bothered about shoes. Yeah, like I'm. I'm not bothered about taking any of that. It's yeah. If if you've got the if you've already got the the proper sentimental stuff to you, and if we discount family because otherwise it defeats the purpose of the game, <laughs> there's not real. It is just the little yeah. things, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a decent cup of coffee. It, is, it genuinely is. All right, let's dive into the coffee one though, because otherwise it's, this episode is going to be about five minutes long. Are you take what you what you what you making your coffee in? Um, my you, mocha. Your mocha. Yeah, my little my little mocha. So a hot chocolate is what you say. You want a hot chocolate? No, no. Your mocha is <laughs> just your mocha pot. So that's just what you brew your coffee in. Is it? Yeah. Mocha's, you not mean the, the, the... I don't mean the type of coffee. Because you were having a mocha earlier, weren't you? No, I had a flat white. All right. Flat I do coffee. like a mocha. Yeah. I do love a mocha, right? But no, a mocha is like... It's that little device that I put is on that Instagram. Is that thing you put on your the hob? The little silver thing that you put on your hob. So, it... Yeah, so what is that? So it's an Italian thing, but like you... um, So you put your coffee, your ground coffee, into like a little silver container yeah. kind of thing. Little, oh, it's almost like a little sieve kind of thing, right? Yeah. So you pop it in there, and then you fill it up with some water. And then you put it on the hob, and then the hob heats up the coffee, and then it brings it through. So exactly. it's just an alternative to like a an, an cafetiere, yeah, cafetiere, or an air yeah, cafetiere. Because we have a cafetiere. Yeah, yeah, very, very we similar to use. a cafetiere. Okay. But I don't know something about it; just t- it tastes incredible. I think it's nicer. Like we, yeah. we've got an espresso machine. It's like the third. We've got an espresso as well. It's like the third one. We got one, and we were buzzing with it, and we used it for about six months, and it broke. Mm. And then they sent out a replacement. And then we used it. But then over time, it just, like, we've tried descaling it and we've tried cleaning it. it, never, it, it and it just starts to taste it does a little bit worse and worse. Yeah, it almost tastes like burn over time. So yeah. we've just stopped. It's still sat in the cupboard and we've not used it for ages. And obviously the pods are. I still, I still use it. Like, I still use it every single day. Just, it's easy. It's convenient. Yeah. But yeah, if I was going to. So you'd take that. Yeah. See, I think if, for me, I'd want like a. Haven't you got an AeroPress now? Or were you thinking no, about just a cafeteria. One? I have been thinking about one. Yeah. If it was up to me, I'd have ordered one. But again, Sophie's told me it's a waste okay. of money, so I've not yeah. bothered because I'm not allowed. Um, no, she was just like, I spoke to Dan about it and I was like, I actually want to, I do yeah, want to get Dan's, one because he's massively snob, into him. But <clears throat> yeah, I, I said to Sophie, I think we're going to order one. And she was like, we don't have any space for one to pull it. And to be fair, we don't really have space for yeah. one because we're obviously only in the flat. So I haven't bothered. No, but I think if it's a desert island, I want a full on coffee machine. Okay. Like I want a proper barista. I'm going to have to, oh, but then I need a barista because I don't know how to use one. <laughs> no, I'll learn. <laughs> I've got, I've got time. I can learn. I'd want like a full on coffee machine where I can make yeah. different types of coffees and stuff like that. Yeah. Cause I genuinely, if I have the option, I'll go for um, like a vanilla latte or a flat white. Yeah. Basic options. But that is what I would go for. So I would want a full on coffee. You'd want the full setup. Whole beans. Yeah. That you can properly grind up. You could probably get beans on this desert island, you know. You probably could. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. So I'd definitely go with that. Yeah. Okay. So that's coffee sorted. And then this episode is, uh, (laughs) it's not really. Kind of it really, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Should we be completely honest? We had an extra 30 minutes to kill in the studio. I wanted to talk about training just to be very clear. You wanted to talk about training. Bit of a life update, training update, that kind of To be fair, that would have been just as boring. How long do we have left? Five minutes, 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Oh, we can talk about training. Should we talk about training? We can talk about training, yeah. How's your training going? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. (laughs) (laughs) No, to be fair, you've been been working on some big numbers, haven't you? Deadlift? Well, uh, yeah, relatively. They're not... So they're slowly coming up, I think. So I'm sitting at the minute, or I've just got back up to 70 kilos. Mm -hmm. So I'm about eight kilos up since the show in October, which was my lightest, which was 62 kilos. Numbers deadlifts-wise, they are coming back up, but I definitely need to put a bit more weight back on to really give them the push. Yeah. So my deadlifts are back up now to 150 for reps, which, again, I think my PB... That's good. I mean, my PB from years ago was like 180 for a set of five. Yeah. Um, so how big, how, how much did you weigh then? Just out of curiosity. I was probably around 75-ish to oh, 80. Okay, right, yeah, okay. So a bit heavier than I am now. Um, so I definitely want to get back up to there. My squat... My, 
my squats are feeling more comfortable, which for me is the mm. main thing at the minute. I was going to do, funnily enough, like a reel on how I'm building up my squats again because I'm literally having... Because I've had like niggles over the, year, over the years with my knees, which stopped me squatting altogether. I think, I, again, on squats, I got up to 164. I think it's a set of six. No. No. But then I had a knee injury when I was at rugby, uh, when I was at uni playing rugby, and I stopped squatting for like, well, pretty much until now. Yeah. Um, and I've I've had to build them back up because when I started squatting again after the shoots, my knee was twinging, my hip flexors were yeah, twinging, my yeah. lower back was twinging. Yeah. So I've literally had to reintroduce hip flexor exercises to my training, hyper extensions for my lower back. I've yeah. been doing abdominal crunches more, hanging knee raises for my hip flexors. I've been doing hip adductors because my hip was starting to feel really tight. And I have now, after literally what has been... 16, 17 weeks, mm. I'm now able to squat like only 110, 120, but I'm able to squat it without any pain or niggles. It feels comfortable. It feels comfortable, yeah. which actually, although the weight itself isn't anything impressive, I'm quite pleased that I've got I've got it to a point where it feels nice. But I'm literally like when I'm going into squat, I'm having to do a load of stretches before I start squatting, a bit yeah. of mobility work. Then I'm starting really light and then building it up. And like I'm not using a heel wedge now. So for the first 12 weeks when I was squatting again, I was having a heel lift yeah. because I just didn't have the mobility. The mobility yeah. Whereas now I can it's do It's amazing, it. isn't it? When, so obviously, you know, our, our training priorities, when you're dieting and whilst you're, you know, you're, you're focusing on more aesthetic goals, mm. your training changes massively. Now. Yeah. I don't think people realize that, like things like squats, deadlifts, etc. They're just not, concurrent you yeah know, they're not gonna work well with what you're trying to achieve at that moment in time um but i'm similar to yourself so like since the shoot i've been I, i've first of all set myself a challenge to do some more running because i enjoy running mm. like you know just, just like actually enjoy it good for my headspace and all that kind of shit so signed up to a half marathon which i've got in past three weeks <laughs> is it that yeah. soon yeah yeah it's literally about three weeks i could run a half marathon tomorrow it just depends on what kind of time yeah, i want to do it yeah, in, right yeah. so i'm aiming for about anything sub two hours i'm happy with but i'd ideally like to run about 145 so we'll see um we'll see that, that's going to be a challenge but so i've been doing that at the same time as trying to develop again my kind of big lifts only because i've not done it for probably eight years i've yeah. not really focused on my squats deadlifts my bench yeah and like you know, because I've had other focuses and, and it's it's been quite nice to kind of bring those back in. I've been eating more food. I've been, you know, my my, my, my nutrition has been very much kind of performance related and I've, I've really enjoyed it. And even to the point where I think recently kind of for the, I'm, I mean, I'm weighing about 85 kg at the moment, but mm. last week I think I, I deadlifted 170 for one or two reps, which I was really Sorry. pleased. I've not done that for a long time. Yeah, it's not yeah. a PB, but it's kind of getting there. It's yeah, not far yeah. off now. Um, my squats I've been doing kind of I think I got to kind of 130 and I was doing sets of twos for you know quite yeah. comfortably yeah. and again for me more than anything else because like, I've got dodgy knees as well and it mechanically just felt smooth. you've yeah. got a lot more, like for you squatting versus me squatting you've got a lot more distance yeah. to cover yeah and like my, my mechanics feel really good like yeah. I'm getting nice and deep It's it, there's no real pain there and yeah. again for me I've struggled with my knees in the past so like I'm just I'm just feeling I'm just feeling good about training do you know yeah. what I mean and that's yeah. something that I've missed for yeah. a good while so um, yeah, running feels feels good, um, and training feels good as well. So I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Man, being ill a few weeks ago kind of knocked things a little bit, but kind of getting back towards that now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, half marathon next time. Half marathon. Yeah. Half it's not. I mean, it's not a crazy distance, is it? I know it. Like, is this at like an actual? Is this a set event or is this just? No, it's a set event. Oh, is it? What yeah, event? it's is an it? event. Yeah, Wimsall half marathon. I'm doing it with a couple of my mates. 26th of March, I think it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, so yeah. not too far away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I say it should be fine. It's just whether you, you know, it depends what kind of time you want to go for. One of my mates is just stupidly fast. Like, he just runs. He doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, He loves running. And he's about six foot five and he's pretty thin. And he's got really long legs. He's built for, <laughs> he, he is just built for running. And he'll, he'll do like a sub one hour 30 easy. Yeah. Easy. So, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be running with him. <laughs> uh, I always think it'd be quite... To cool to now that so well, we need to think of like another training challenge so like obviously we're gonna do some weightlifting ones aren't we but we yeah do like a running one at some stage yeah but the only thing with a running challenge is how do you film it ah uh, yeah like we're gonna have to have ben running like next David to Goggins us. Yeah, yeah literally ben's gonna be running next <laughs> with the camera like. yeah, be fucking brilliant. So, yeah that's i'd love it. to see ben trying to do that <laughs> he'd have to be in his car wouldn't he but yeah yeah that it would be good to try and film something like that because I don't mind, like running, I actually don't yeah, mind. Yeah. I don't do a lot of it, but for me, running was always something like, when I was, I used to do a lot of athletics when I was younger, yeah. and it would always be running. Although, 
the first time I ever did cross country, I nearly passed out. I got picked to do it. For, I always did like 100 meter, 200 meter at school, sprinting. With That's what thing. I did. That's when I played I did, rugby, yeah. I was a winger fullback predominantly because I was just quick. So I, yeah. could, I, I, like, I quite liked running. Um, and I got picked once at school to do the cross country and I remember it. And it wasn't even like cross, cross country because I was a kid. I, I was probably like 10 or 11. Something. I was still in primary school, basically. And it was up at one of the local unis by us. And it wasn't even a massive course. But all I remember is hating every second of it yeah. and I, I think I, I ended up sitting out of it I was like just I, I don't know what happened I pulled out the race I was sat on the side and apparently one of the organizers went and called my mum and was like you better come because your son's like hyperventilating on the side of the track and I think <laughs> they thought something was wrong with me and I don't think there was I think I just didn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, was yeah, like do you know what I'm built for 100 meter 200 meter well that's what that's kind of how I used to view mine because I was the same I, only, I did like 100 meters 200 meters I did it quite a good standard as well so I was like mm. on the athletic team at school and like used to go and compete against other schools and I think everyone's and even potentially slightly higher than that once. But anyway, I was quite fast. So mm. I, was, I was all right sprinting. And I always put it down to the fact that I was asthmatic, that I couldn't do long distances. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't that. I just fucking hated it. <laughs> but So one of my goals as I got a bit older was like, no, I want to prove to myself that because I'm quite a big guy as well. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. certainly not built for running. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think sometimes you, your sport does choose you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to a, you know, genetically to a certain but It's weird because I think over the years, like running something did become something even longer distances that I'm genuinely okay with. Yeah. Like I can go a long time without training for running. And you can just go and, and I can do it all right. Yeah. But, you know, but put me in a swimming pool and I will literally drown after two lengths. Like <laughs> I am a terror. I can swim. It's hard. I can keep though. my head above water. Yeah. But that's about as but far it's a, as it it's goes. It's completely different level of fitness. Yeah, like, it, yeah just and you're breathing everything. It's so hard. I'm, I'm saying like you get into you put. I'm fairly fit at the moment, but you put me in a pool and ask me to do fucking front crawl for twenty, whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah. Laps. I'd be fucked. I'd yeah. be absolutely bollocks. Yeah. yeah. I think actually the same thing happened when you know when you're in school and did you ever have to go to the swimming bath? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I remember at the time I only could front crawl. I'd never l properly learned to do the yeah. breaststroke. So I had to go separately down with a mate to learn because on one of the lessons, it was like a distance where to just swim around and around the pool. And I was doing it all front crawl in my pajamas with like a brick that you have to pick up from the bottom of the swimming pool because that's ever used. Do you remember you used to like, um, do you have to do like a test where you had to dip down and get something from the bottom? Yeah, yeah like, like a brick. The, yeah, the, but, the with, of the pool. but with um, pajamas on. Yeah, with pajamas on. Yeah. And I've never been in a pool with pajamas. I know, that's what I mean. Like, I don't plan on getting into it. But I remember I was trying to do this, and I don't know how long it had to be, but I didn't finish it. I it was just knackered. And I, I, I had to sit out on the side, and this was in high school, which was pretty embarrassing. And I remember just being, like, chatting to my mate then, who was a good swimmer. I was like, can we come, like, in our own time? Can yeah. you teach me to do it properly? Cause I'd, and I'd had swimming classes. Yeah. But I think when I was younger, I just I kind of learned how to do a front crawl, and I was kind of like, cool. I know how to do that. I don't need to learn another. I can swim now. I don't need yeah. to learn anything else. I don't really get how you do breaststroke. So I never bothered learning with it properly. But obviously from like, uh, when you're covering more distance, it seems to be the easier way to do it. Or maybe I'm just horrendous at swimming. <laughs> I don't do it that often. I, I just don't swim enough. Like I should, probably no. should do because we actually have a swimming pool at our gym. And like it's something that one of the things that I pay for, and I'm like, I just don't use this yeah. at all. But no, I, I think I think like I do think sometimes like a triathlon, a triathlon would be quite cool. I would, yeah, I know I just struggle with the swimming. The yeah. biking, I've done quite a lot of biking, and that would be. I don't to practice say that, but okay. you would you'd, you'd massively improve. It's just because you've never got specific with it, and you've yeah, never, yeah. you know, you've never, never trained for it. No, That's no, what I'm saying. Like it's, it's like it. anything else. Like when you first when I first started running again, for example, I felt like shit. Mm. But after a few weeks, I was like, oh, this is all right because. Yeah. Like anything else, like the more you do it, the better you get. And once you're better at something, you generally enjoy it more than as well because you're better at it. Right? I mean, said that we're 40 odd episodes into doing a podcast and we've yeah, still, still not shit. got that. You're better at it. So much so we're making episodes <laughs> up on the spot. But no, I think that'll do for that one. That'll do. That's a nice little bonus Let's episode. 10,000 calories worth of dominoes. Yeah. It, we might not end up posting this one, but we'll yeah. see. <laughs> uh, I think we should. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah I think we should. I think people right. will like it. Yeah. yeah. So let's go and get some, uh, let's go get oh, some pizza. Just going to be. 10,000 calories in 60 minutes. Yeah, I'm so I'm so nervous, mate. Oh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I'm genuinely nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous for the drive home afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> at, at least, least you can chill that. out. Yeah, I've got to look. Mind after. you, you've got to look after I've got Thea. Look after Thea, so yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll let's go get car. it done. Let's go eat. Thanks for listening. Cheers, guys. In a bit. <laughs> <laughs>